Hello, everybody. Welcome to our weekly powwow chat. Tonight on our show, you're going to find out how you can win a $20 iTunes gift card, and we'll talk a little bit about some interesting things that have gone on on powwows.com this week, as well as some updates on future things coming up. So join us and stay with us. I hope you enjoy the show. My name is Paul Gowder, and I am um, the founder of powwows.com, and I really appreciate you all being on the show and watching each week. Um, so please take a moment and um, share this right now with your friends and family. Let everybody know we're doing the show. They can win the $20 gift card also, and um, post in the comments where you're from, where you're watching from. Um, love to hear from you. So let's get started. Um, First off, you know, in just a minute, I'll tell you about more about how you can win. Oops, sorry, I'm dropping my phone. Um, more about how you can win that twenty dollars gift card. But I also want to talk to you. You know, this is our weekly show where we can kind of get to know each other. I want to hear from you, and you can talk to each other. Um, and I also want to tell you some things that are going on on Powell's.com. All right. So first off, I'll go ahead and let you know how you can win that. Enter to win that twenty-five or twenty dollars iTunes gift card. And I'm having a hard time with that tonight. So the way you can do it is we now have an official Facebook group for powwows.com. It you can find it over on Facebook. It's called Powwow Life. Uh, if you go to our Facebook page at powwows.com, or I'll put I'll put some links up in the description of this show later tonight too. But head on over to our Facebook, join the group, jump in. I've asked a question of the day. What's your favorite powwow of the summer? Where do you head or where do you wish you could head? What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? Um, you know, do you, are you in Oklahoma and like going to uh, the Tulsa Pow Wow or Red Earth? Are you in California and like going to some of the ones out there, Morongo and Pala Pow Wow? Post in that discussion what your favorite summer Pow Wow is. And um, at the end of the week, I'll take all the entries and I will randomly select somebody from that to win the $20 iTunes gift card. And I'll remind everybody later in the show, too, how you can do that. So, thanks, everybody. I see some people posting already. Um, we've got, let's see, Nikki from uh, who's White Mountain Apache from Phoenix, Arizona. Cool. Uh, how's the weather out there? Got somebody from California. I'm heading your way in just a couple of weeks. So, yeah, I'd like be curious. How, how's the summer out there right now? Um, I hear it's kind of hot. Uh for me, that's saying a lot because I'm in South Carolina. Um, Gina, thanks for being here. Julie, um, you know, yeah, I will post a link to the group. Um, it'll be up in the top description. If you go over to powwows.com's Facebook page, there is a link there. It's the um, it's a linked group from powwows.com, so you can do it, go over there. Um, the Barona Powwow Labor Day weekend. I hear that's a really good one. I haven't been to that one, uh, but I hear it's really good. So I want to tell you a couple other things going on right now on powwows.com and some things I think you'd be interested in. First off, if you haven't entered into our other contest, we've been doing this throughout the month of June. Um, we are giving away an American Girl doll. Uh, if you didn't know, there's actually an American Girl doll that's, um, that the uh, Nez Perce tribe helped develop with the American Girl company. Her name is Kaya. And she's been out for a number of years, but we uh, just recently discovered her here and didn't know about her. She's got several different outfits. She's got a jingle outfit, a buckskin outfit. It's really cool. We've been taking submissions, and there's three hours left to enter to win Kaya. So if you want to get into that contest, there is still time. And the way you can do that is www.powwows.com slash Kaya. Um, Again, three hours left to enter. Um, we'll be drawing for that tomorrow. And she's like $149 value. Uh, I know lots of people have already posted in some of the comments that they'd love to win her. I know she'd be great for uh, if you've got any birthdays of your kids coming up or grandkids. Um, make a great gift, too. She's she's a really cool, really cool doll. Uh, here, let me show you a couple other of her outfits. It's really, really amazing that the tribe worked with the company to develop this. There you go. There's her fancy shawl outfit. Some buckskin. I love the jingle with the hand drum. Very cool stuff. 
Um, so again, www.powells.com slash Kaya, and you can enter to win that. Still lots of people coming in and commenting about their favorite summer powwow. That's awesome. Glenn, the Grand River powwow. Where is that one held? I'm, I'm not sure about that one. Bonnie, thanks for being in. Um, thanks, everybody. Yeah, remember, please take a moment and share this. Let's get some more people in here watching. Uh, we do this, try to do this every week. Um, usually try to do them on Wednesday nights, but I uh, had a conflict last night, so doing it tonight. All right, another thing I wanted to tell everybody about, if you have uh, didn't see the story on Powell's.com, you know, Google posts a, what they call a doodle every day. And, you know, if you go to Google.com, there's they take their logo and create some kind of different drawing with it every day. And, you know, a lot of times people miss it and don't see it. Um, last week, though, they actually did a Google Doodle about the, um, the first Native American physician, um, Susan LaFletch. She, uh, was Native from the Omaha Reservation, and she was the first Native doctor. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and even back then for a, a woman to be a, a doctor, um, in, you know, the, when she was born in 1865, pretty amazing um, and for Google to recognize that on, uh, I think it was on her birthday, that is pretty cool. You know, you don't, the Google Doodles go by so fast, sometimes you don't even know that they're there. Really cool article, so if you want to know more about that, head over to powwows.com. Another interesting story we had this week, um, there are lots and lots of powwows going on next week for 4th of July. That is a great time to find a powwow somewhere. Um, this is one that's pretty interesting. They are doing a reopening of their the historic Indian Bowl and are having a special um, service for that. So you can find out more about that. Um, but also, if you go to www.powwows.com slash calendar, tons of powwows coming up next week. Like I said, I am sure there is one near you somewhere. Um, so if, if you haven't been to one this summer, this week is a great time to go and find one. www.powells.com slash calendar. Tons of great ones for 4th of July. I know near us, the Cherokee usually have one up in North Carolina. That's a really good one. I've been up there and danced with the folks up there. They put on a great show. Beautiful setting up in the mountains. Um, that's a really, really good one. And I know there's tons of others going on all around the country. So find one near you and, and get there for 4th of July. Uh, let me see. Got somebody from Ontario, Cal Can Ontario, Canada. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that. Appreciate you being here. It's somebody from Brazil. Hello, Marco. Thanks for watching. Uh, Rex from BC. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, let's see. Robin. Appreciate you being here. All right. So. Another thing that happened this week on Powell's.com that I thought would be really cool for everybody to know about, um, and please, you know, feel free to, if you've got any questions about what's going on, please just post them in the comments there. I'll, I'll try to answer them. We did an article this week. I thought this was really cool. Our writer, Toyesha Brown, did this, and she did a kind of a roundup of several different videos that she found on the web about um, different fry bread recipes. And if you had looked, there are several out there on YouTube. And so she did kind of, you know, showing you different recipes that she found on YouTube. If anybody tries one of these, let me know. I'd be really curious to see how they turn out. Um, send us some pictures, or if you have your own fry bread recipe, please send it to us. Um, we would love to feature that too. Um, I know everybody had a little bit slightly different way of making it. So um, head over to Powell's.com if you want to see that. It's uh, Powell's.com slash best dash fry bread dash recipe. And I'll put all these links up in the uh, description of the video after we close tonight. Um, but a really cool thing, go out there and watch some of these recipes. Uh, and if you don't have your own recipe, maybe you can find one there that, and try your own fry bread. All right. Another cool story this week. Um, we found a, a video. Uh, well, the video was taken down. But in case you never knew this, and, and I didn't. The first um, prima ballerina in America was from the Osage tribe, um, Maria Tallchief. So pretty cool story. You can go over there and check out some of that information. Uh, let's see what else is going on. A couple of weeks ago, um, 
the the show Steve Harvey host Little Big Shots. Um, they had actually posted and, and shared with us and asked us to see if any of our um, audience would like to participate in the show. And uh, apparently, they were able to find uh, a young native boy named R.J. Lopez, and he was on the show hoop dancing. It was really cool. If you didn't see it, come over to Powell's.com. We've got the video of him um, performing. It was awesome to get to see him do that. Um, you know, it, it's not a contest show or anything like that. It's just a uh, kind of a variety show featuring talented young kids. And uh, RJ came out there and did some hoop dancing. I was trying to find a, see if I could find the clip. This is the, we got the video of the whole show. Um, he did a great job and really represented well. Um, there you go. There he is. Um, well, I thought that were, that's what he, where he was. There he is. Um, so that was really, really cool, though, to see um, somebody like that featured on NBC in primetime. You know, it's not often uh, Native culture gets shared on uh, networks. So go over there and check, take a look at this. That's a really, really cool thing that they did. Um, super impressed. Karen Foster from Inman, South Carolina. How about that? I am in Lexington, South Carolina, so it's good to see another Carolinian on here. Uh, go Gamecocks. At least I hope you're a Gamecock fan. Um, I guess I'll tolerate you if you're a Clemson fan, but that's okay. Um, all right, one more interesting story I wanted to show you on Palace.com. Um, we had a group, this, they posted this a couple weeks ago, and there's still time to get in on this. The... Uh, the Eloquent Light Photography Workshop is looking for adult Native Americans. Um, they are looking for models for their upcoming workshop, July 17th through the 21st, and they are offering pay if you are out in that area. Check out the story on Powell's.com, and you can find a link on how you can register and find out more about it. This is a really cool thing. Um, you, know, you can uh, be a model, participate in their photo shoots, and get paid. Very, very cool. Um, I think it's going to take place in, if I'm not mistaken, in Santa Fe and Gallup, New Mexico. So if you're out that way, um, July 17th through the 21st, please go and apply. It'd be a great opportunity to make a little extra cash. And, you know, with summer travels and summer powwows, we all need a little bit extra, right? It all could use a little extra gas money. All right. Um, the other thing I want to tell you all about is um, one of the... One of the things we love doing here at Palos.com is we periodically will do live webcasts and we'll show an entire powwow live. If you haven't watched one of those, they are super fun. Um, you get to see everything. We, we show the entire thing, um, all the dancing, all the singing. You get to see it all live. Um, you know, sit in your pajamas on your couch, uh, watching in bed on your laptop or your phone. It is really cool. And we've got a couple of those coming up soon. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew about those. July 7th through the 9th, we're going to be broadcasting the Prairie Island Pow Wow. And July 21st through the 23rd, we will be streaming Carry the Kettle. Um, over, you know, if you go to our homepage, there's a, there's a button there that says Watch Pow Wow's Live. You can see our full schedule. Um, but we've got two coming up in July really soon. So go ahead and make plans. If you're not at a powwow that weekend, or hey, if you are and there's some downtime, pull your pull up your phone and you can watch another powwow. Uh, it's really cool, and you can participate in the chat and get to know other people that are watching. It's a lot of fun and a good chance to see some of these other powwows that maybe you can't travel to. Um, and I ask, please, uh, especially for those, please share those. Um, let's get a big audience and get as many natives online watching those as we possibly can. Uh, those are those are always really cool. All right, everybody, I think that's all that I had to share for tonight. I um, want to make sure that um, you remember that if you go over to uh, our new Facebook group, um, some, somewhat new, um, Facebook group, uh, Pow Wow Life, and um, comment on the thread of what your favorite Pow Wow is, what your su favorite summer Pow Wow is, you'll be entered to win a $20 iTunes gift card be cool you can download some songs for your summer road trips because we're all going to be in the car a lot this summer so you can get some new songs or maybe some new apps on your phone 
whatever. Um, but go over there, post a comment, let us know what your favorite summer powwow is, and we will draw a winner randomly on Friday. Um, also, please you know, join the group and share that group, and let's uh, see if we can get a big community building over there on Facebook. Um, I think it'd be really cool if we could get a lot of powwow folks in there. A great place for everybody to join in. Um, well, thanks everybody for tuning in and watching. I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, we do this every Wednesday night. I know tonight's Thursday, but usually every Wednesday night. And uh, we, again, this is just our chance to try to get to know you a little bit better, give you some updates, and hopefully you guys can start talking to each other too. And uh, just a way to get to know each other. Hey, my uh, mother-in-law just joined. Cool. Well, anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Please take a moment to share it, and we'll post all the links that I talked about up in the description as soon as we close. Thanks everybody, and we will see you down the trail.